I will ask you this question again. Anything in Watch <laughs> OS that jumped out at you? Watch OS 11? Yeah, but I was trying to look up the name of the feature. It's it's the thing that it brings all your sensor data together. And I can't remember the training name of the feature. Training mode. Tra no, not training mode. Because that's Vi for like the, doing The new Vitals app. Vitals, yes. Keeping track of all your vitals together and being able to give you an assessment of trends and what you, what's happening with all the different sensor data like combined together. Yep. Uh, I find that really interesting and could be very, very helpful for a lot of people. I agree. So, you know, where I would say, hey, you know, basically what's here's what's changed. You know, you're not getting as much sleep. What's going on? Are you more stressed? Are you like what other things are factoring into this? Yep. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's really smart. I I have I have gotten in the habit of not wearing my Apple Watch on the weekends, mainly because I like to not have. No, I know I could do this with focus modes, and I often do, but I like to not have notifications happen for me when I'm like hanging out with my family, and so I just that the weekends are when I wear my various mechanical watches, which I like to be able to wear. So it's a nice opportunity to do that. Um, these overnight vitals make me wonder if I really just want to start wearing my Apple Watch as a sleep tracker. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. It's a there it's you a go. Thought. See, I thought he was saying that as a nice way of saying I have to screen my calls and texts from Pete, so I don't oh, wear. Oh no, if I have a focus but, mode for that. Oh, that's totally fine. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you wear your watch overnight? Then or not? I I have two watch. Actually, I have three Apple Watches. I have my OG Apple Watch that I got like on release day of the Apple Watch. I rarely use that anymore because it doesn't do what I need it to do. I have my Ultra 2 that is my main Apple Watch, and then I have my Series 5, which is what I wear at night to bed. Okay. So I, I track my sleep almost every night. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So I've got the original Ultra, and I wear it, except when it's on the charger, it's on, and and or in the shower. But other than yeah. that, it it's on all the time. I've got a beautiful Citizen's Pilot Watch that I haven't worn in years. I need yeah. to start wearing that again. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. I like my mechanical watches. They're just yeah. kind of fun. It's like, well, it's gorgeous, nice to have yeah. a, well, and it's nice to have a complex gadget that doesn't require a battery. Right. I, I, I yeah. like that part of it. So yeah. Yeah, I don't know. just, but that's just me. Like it's, I don't, I don't judge people who don't like it's. I'm, I'm the odd one out on this for sure. Uh, yeah. The, um, the new smart stack widgets on the Apple watch are what jumped out to me where you can set up that smart stack and then it will um, add widgets like based contextually. Right. So the rainfall, if you're, if, if there's going to be rain, it'll show you the rain over the next few hours or translation. It will just add that widget. If you're, you know, in a foreign country or somewhere where chances are the language is not the same as your default language. And so, and live activities coming to Apple watch in the same kind of UX. So, I, I, that, that part yeah, let, let me mention that. And that's both iOS and in the watch because it's kind of the same app. And if, if you've gone out and gotten weather radar or NOAA radar or some other weather app and you haven't looked at the Apple weather app in a while, go give that a look again. That's just become a, a full featured weather app. Uh, just to, and that's not even not even looking ahead. It's there now. Yeah. Uh, from radar and air quality and temperatures by hour during the day and and precipitation by hour. It's an, it's very full featured. I I really like it. It's my yep. favorite weather app now. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Any uh anything else on watch OS before we jump to iPad OS, guys? I mean I don't I I don't use it because I think you need a current apple watch but the double tap api being made available to developers so hopefully that'll get more feature functionality yep yep yeah, i like that good. yep um there was something that uh was mentioned in the developer thing that i had um oh yeah i already i already talked about that anyway okay cool I, I'm trying to, you know, I watched the State of the Union. I'm trying to bring that stuff in uh, in the right sections, and and I did yeah. the whole thing about oh. the camera camera app was was actually in the State of the Union. Go ahead, Adam. I'm glad you have your slide up because I saw one more oh. thing, which is big. Uh, 
pausing your activity rings, because I know people obsess about this, right? Is you've got a trend going on, but now you're going to go on vacation for a weekend and you know you're not going to be doing your exercising. You can pause your rings and then turn them back on when you get back. So for whatever reasons, you can pause activity rings and not break your trend. Ah, I like that. I don't yeah. know if that's a good or a bad thing because it could be potentially be abused. Sure, but sure. There are legitimate <laughs> reasons why someone might want to, you know, like you have an accident, like you break your leg. Sure. Right? And now yeah. you've blown your, you, you have a three year trend going on your running and now you broke your leg and now you're going to lose your, your streak because fair. You had an accident, right? Yeah. Fair. So. Yep. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. No, absolutely. 